you ever get the feeling that 15 minutes have passed when it's actually like 45 or the other way around and it's just like two minutes have passed someone's waiting you're late you're guilty and or someone's late you're waiting and you're annoyed thing is you're not imagining that time dissonance it's not because you're lazy not always at least our brains are not great at estimating time in a kind of beautiful way humans don't internally measure time we kind of guess it using a system so sensitive that being slightly distracted makes your clock run 30 percent different neuroscientists call this chronoception you think you're two minutes away because your brain lost track of the pulses it's supposed to be counting. Your internal clock is like a drunk drummer with ADHD. When you focus, it keeps a beat. When you multitask, it drops its ticks. The model's called the pacemaker accumulator theory. There's no single time organ in the body. Instead, different regions, the basal ganglia, prefrontal cortex, cerebellum, they collect pulses like clicks on a metronome. You miss a few and suddenly your two minutes is actually five. Now add dopamine. When you're excited or creative or optimistic, your brain floods with dopamine, which speeds up your internal clock. Time feels shorter. That's why you think getting ready won't take long and frantically steam a shirt you didn't even plan to wear. Anxious brains that are low on dop dopamine and high on vigilance feel time dragging. Waiting five minutes in silence feels like 45. It's not just time. We also misjudge distance. Psychologists call it embodied perception. You don't measure miles, you measure effort. If you're tired, hills look steeper. If you're late, traffic lights turn slower. If you're carrying groceries, your home feels twice as far. Laziness is somewhat neuroscientific. Historically, humans didn't need this precision. For 99% of history, we live by natural time, sunrise, shadows, seasons. This focus on two minutes wasn't even a thing until the Industrial Revolution, when factory bells and train schedules forced everyone to synchronize. Before that, being late probably just meant after the goats or something. Culturally, some societies still work that way. Anthropologists talk about monochronic versus polychronic time. In clock-based cultures, punctuality is morality. In event-based cultures, time bends around relationships. Two minutes can mean when I'm emotionally ready to leave. Feels healthier, but it's probably a compromise with getting things done. In philosophy agrees. St. Augustine once said around 400 BCE, if no one asks me what time is, I know. If I try to explain, I do not. Basically saying we have a sense of time, it's hard to give a definition to it. Heidegger later argued that time is tied to tasks and goals. When we underestimate time, we're not lazy, we're hopeful. I'll be there soon isn't logistics, but optimism. It's your brain saying, I believe in the version of me that's faster and more organized than the one I've ever met. Of course, we live in a world designed with complex interpersonal intricacies. If someone is waiting for you, try to be intentional to not make them wait too much. At the same time, if you try and still find yourself with a different perception of time, remember that that could mean you're taking in a lot of good things from the environment around you. Connection runs on the richness of moments, not the emptiness of minutes. Be gentle with yourself.